I said, how do you win? You start. How do you keep on winning? You start again. I said, how do you win? You start. How do you keep on winning? You start again. This is Elijah Mindset Morgano coming to you live from RVA. Like I told you, one of my offices, the local library, an amazing office. Really want to talk to you about, just share, share a quick story with you in regards to my life and me, my inability to self-assess. Like it may be something that you're dealing with. It may not be something that you're dealing with, but I want to let a couple people come into this so we can jump right into the inability to self-assess share a quick story and a testimony i have a call to action for you listen if you're here right now you're right where you're supposed to be if you know anybody that has the inability to self-assess like and they need to hear this message or hear this story invite them bring them out like share this post because in all honesty like my test and your test and my mess and your mess is not for us it's for the masses we are supposed to be able to each one and teach one and and in order for us to do that we have to share with them the fact that we go through things like people think just because you get saved you don't go through things just because you get a uh, start getting becoming aware of success principles that you don't go through things you still go through things you're constantly going through things like we're going through some some connection issues right here oh we're gonna bring, oh yeah, see that? Bring the office down here, see if the connection get a little bit better. Oh yeah. Listen, thumbs up if the connection is good, if y'all can hear me, if y'all can understand me. The viewers that's out there, thumbs up if everything is going well. But listen, when you understand that you will go through something, that you will face adversities, that you will face life, and when you understand that, that as a part of the process, you start to you start to get excited when you're facing a, a, a circumstance or adversity because now on the opposite side of that adversity, there's, there's growth. And, then, and, I, and like I said, I'm saying this, I have the right to say this because one, I, I, imp I implemented things that I didn't create on my own free will. I implemented things that were created that was here way before I even was birthed here. I just I was able to tap into the creator and he showed me the way through the source and, and, and being able to self-assess and be able to repent and be able to change me from the inside out and stop worrying about from the outside in. So as always, we're going to go into prayer because prayer is definitely the power that penetrates all problems. We're going to go into prayer and then when we come out of prayer, I'm going to go right into the story in regards to my self-assessment moment. Heavenly Father, this is your humble servant, Elijah the messenger. I am grateful that you allowed me to have a fresh anointing this day. I am grateful that you put the thoughts, ideas, the understanding, the wisdom on my mind, body, and spirit. I am grateful to be obedient. I am grateful for the things that you've blessed me with this far. I am grateful for the things that you've blessed with me with only in my dreams, only in my imaginations, because the more that I believe in you and the more that I believe in them that they will be here and I'm not just talking about the physical things I am grateful for the ability to be aware of who I am and where I'm going I am grateful for the ability to self-assess daily I am grateful for being okay to repent my weaknesses and to ask for your help and ask for your assistance and ask for your guidance I am grateful for the ability to tap into your anointing every day I am grateful for the ability to lean on your strength and lean on your courage I am grateful for the knowledge wisdom and understanding that that you placed in me I am grateful for the gift of gab that you've given me I am grateful for the obstacles that are coming my way because I know those obstacles has a equal or greater seed of accomplishment in every one of them so I am grateful today that you have covered my children my significant other family friends and loved ones and those that are in the sound of my voice I am grateful for their attention i am grateful for their understanding and their knowledge and so in your son and our brother jesus name we pray amen so listen the ability to self-assess a self-assessment is something that you have to go through every day like i i just thought i have to self-assess like every week once a month but when when you self-assess every day when you start to really take control and take responsibility of your actions Every day, you're able to see what areas that you're growing in. You're able to see areas that you're growing in. 
and you're able to see areas that you need improvement. And this is the thing, when you're able to do that, like for me, for instance, my, my ability to, one of the things that I had to self-assess about me is that I wasn't utilizing my time efficiently. Like I would wake up like maybe 30, 40 minutes before I have to go to work. I, I wasn't a morning person. I didn't, I didn't do any of the extra things that, what, that required, uh, that was part of a success mindset. So being able to get up just before a meeting or just before I have to go to school or just before I, I, I had to go to work, usually I ended up late and I created habits that, that were conducive to losing or being average so like and, and another habit of not reading I didn't I spent a majority of my time playing video games there's absolutely nothing against video games esports is a very very prominent field but I wasn't in esports I was just playing video games for for 10 15 hours a day in some cases just just really throwing away my time and not really doing utilizing it to add any value to my life I, and so understanding those things taffy thank you for joining allison thank you for joining understanding that I, when i was able to self-assess and look at you know what i'm spending a whole bunch of time either partying or i'm spending a whole bunch of time either playing video games or i'm spending a whole bunch of time um um playing softball or uh like doing things that are not conducive to building up my family building up my business or building up my spirit man understanding that everywhere you go you're either infecting or affecting anyone you come in contact with but that's the same thing when you're going around these circles like this is the thing you become <laughs> you become what you who, who you are like you literally become the the average of your five closest friends the five people that you're spending the most time around you become them mentally you become them financially and you become them spiritually and like I said me being able to self-assess and realize like you know what there's some things that I need help with like there's some things that I, I can't do on my own like I, I really need help with getting better at this and that's when I was able to one go to our Lord and Savior go to our Creator and, and lean on his strength and lean on his courage and lean on his wisdom and lean on his understanding. But then also I realized that I needed a coach. I needed a mentor. I needed as somebody that was going to hold me accountable on a weekly basis. And no matter how I was going through these habits, after a while, somebody telling you this is what you need to do or you should have did this or did you do this. After a while, it starts to pan out. Literally, it starts to show that you know what you you get better at that you you start to remind yourself that you need to do you need to wake up early you start to remind yourself that you need to read those books like and it becomes a part of your paradigm it comes to be part of a part of your self image this is the thing you will always be poverty stricken and oh woe is me and a victim mentality if you don't have the ability to self assess and stop blaming everybody on the outside and start looking inside of you and start pointing the finger at you and, and then start leaning on God to repent on oh, look I, God I need help with this I I need help with this 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 lust. I need help with this with just with this jealousy. I need help with this doubt and worry. I need help with this envy. I need help with my finances. Like being able to say you need help, he can hear you. Opening yourself up and taking responsibility for why you are where you are right now. You are able to tap into his source. You're able to tap into his power. Like it's literal. Like I didn't understand repentance and prior to me changing my entire life. Like understanding, you know what? When I repent, I'm able to let him know. Like I need, I need assistance in this area. And because I need assistance in this area, and you can answer all questions, you can answer all things. Your assistance in that area can help me in this natural. Like we're spiritual beings with an intellect living in a physical body, not a physical being that gains some intellect and trying to have a spiritual experience. That is not the case. We're spiritual beings. We have a direct connect to our creator and the ability to self-assess allows you to open up that resource, allows you to, to believe that there, to have faith in the unseen, to believe that, that, that you do have that potential, to believe that you are worthy. Because if you're looking at your current results, which re reside on the outside of you, if you're looking at your results, which reside on the outside of you, and it's not from within, you're going to always be repeating those same results. So 
self-assessment, being able to look inside of you and see what you're doing great and, and, and rewarding yourself for doing the great things and see where you need assistance. That's where you can get spiritual assistance. That's when you can get physical assistance through a coach, a mentor. There's people, accountability partners, focus groups. There's people that are willing to help and assist you in where you're going. Shout out to Charles, man. Thank you for joining. Like this, there's people that are willing to help you, but you can't receive help until you know how to self-assess and know where you need help. And then also know where you're not just draining and taking. When you're able to self-assess and you know where, where, who you are and where you're going and what you're great at and what you can use to help mankind and not just money. Like you can learn how to trade your skills, your talents, your assets for other people's skills, talents, assets, services. You know? So literally being able, quick rundown, quick recap, being able to literally self-assess on a daily basis about the things that you're good at about the things that you need help with, and then being able to talk to our Lord and Savior, being able to talk to our Creator, being able to talk to your mentor, being able to talk to your significant other, being able to be real with them and let them know, you know what, I'm weak in this area and I need your assistance. I want to share a quick tip with you. Our Lord and Savior can do all things. All things are possible through Christ that strengthen me. It's not some things, not a few things, all things. You have to start, we have to, as a whole, have to start making a habit to be okay to self-assess and be real what we're good at and what we need help with. So we can get, we can get guidance, we can get ideas, we can get people that come our way. Like if you're, if you have your blinders on, if you're not living optimistically, if you're not keeping a positive mental attitude, there's no way that you can attract those things that's going to help you in the long run. And if you keep pointing fingers at other people, you'll never see who's the real cause of your circumstances, which is yourself. So once again, I see Elijah Mindset Morgano. I just wanted to share with y'all, we're coming out with our transformation. We just launched Transformation University of Life. We have some social media courses up there. We're launching some mindset detox courses. We definitely have a 27 day mindset detox challenge that we're gonna be opening up to a select few people. Um, and then lastly, if you haven't, if you haven't gone to ECO Nonprofit uh, and like the page, please do so now. And then if you can, take five or 10 minutes and invite 20 to 25 of your friends to ECO Nonprofit. That's one of the nonprofits that we're supporting. Their focus point is to bring awareness and and help the, the millennials that are unemployed or underemployed and have all this student loan debt and they want to set them up with uh, interview tips and resume tips and right now we're on a goal to reach 10,000 likes on our Facebook page and we would appreciate it if you can invite as many as your friends as possible once again my name is Elijah Mindset Morgano I am the author of Social Media Da Right, CEO and founder of New Art Tours and Social Media, Social Media Done Right Marketing Firm, creator of Instagram 101 for the average Joes, man of God, father and husband, and king in this kingdom, looking to help you and yours find your purpose. Stay blessed and highly favored. Stay blessed and highly favored. Booyah.